Today I'm going to teach you how to make what I call the poor man's electrolysis setup. So basically what I did is I took a plastic cup, uh, it's nice for it to be clear so you can actually see it, and I put in uh, two metal thumbtacks. So the nice thing with this is they have a nice wide metal surface on the bottom and they actually come up to a nice little point up on uh, the edges there. And I put a piece of tape in there just to help with poking through so I don't actually break my plastic because this plastic kind of um, just kind of breaks apart. So uh, what we can do is we can add in a little bit of salt water. So we need to use salt water so that it will conduct electricity. And then we won't need to have essentially a salt bridge. Our salt is serving as a path for our electrons to travel through and complete our circuit. I'm going to go ahead and put in some glass vials in here so that we can actually collect our gas and maybe see it show up a little bit. I'll put one right there and then fill this one up with water. And I'm just putting this over uh, the two uh, thumbtacks. So now, if we look at this, we're going to see that nothing is really going on. But if we take a 9 volt battery, all right, we can go ahead and stick this on. And now, hopefully, we can see some bubbles forming. So the higher concentration of salt you use, uh, kind of the faster this reaction will go. But we'll see that we only have bubbles forming on one side. Now the reason for that is right now we are uh, providing electrons and it is making hydrogen gas um, from our H2O. It's also producing H2O and what you'll see is that on the other electrode we should be forming oxygen. But since we're not forming oxygen, What's really going on is the thumbtack is made out of a more reactive metal. In this case, uh, it seems like it's a brass thumbtack. So over time, this thumbtack is going to get darker and darker as it's experiencing uh, oxidation or uh, a form of corrosion. So uh, over time, eventually that surface will become oxidized. And if that whole surface becomes oxidized, we'll start generating oxygen as well. But this is a nice little handy way that you can go through and uh, perform electrolysis on water and you can collect some hydrogen gas and eventually we'll be able to collect some uh, oxygen gas as well. Um, but you can see over a little bit of time we have a nice little bubble forming on the top of uh, this vial here so uh, eventually you'll be able to fill them up. Anyway I hope you found this uh, useful um, and keep in mind the whole thing with electrolysis is you just need to be overcoming that non-spontaneous reaction. So when you go through and calculate what the standard cell potential is, you find that negative number. And as long as you can overcome that negative voltage, you can make the reverse reaction happen. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next time.